Hi there, and welcome back to Ingvid. Today's lesson is to make sure that you are understood, because you could learn all the vocabulary in the world, but if you're not being understood by speaking clearly, then there's very little point. So today's lesson is to teach you a few exercises to ensure that your speech is as crisp and clear as possible. Now I've got a number of exercises which I've written up on the board, which are to help strengthen the muscles in your face and your mouth to help your speech become clear. Now the words and sentences and phrases written up here are not meant to make sense, okay? So this is not a language lesson. If you're not sure of what a word means, then I suggest look it up in a dictionary, but it may be a word that is not currently used um, in English, contemporary English. And the other um, thing I wanted to point out is that it's not just going to be by watching this video that you become clear. I will show you a number of exercises, but if you really want to take it to a next level, you will have to go off and see a voice teacher who will then be able to say to you, you need to focus on your S sounds or you need to focus on your D sounds, but then you have these exercises to help you. I hope that's clear. Okay, so I will go through this uh, once slowly and then I'll do it at full speed. The aim with these articulation exercises is to go nice and slowly so that you're getting each sound correctly and then to start doing it as fast as you can because that really works the muscles, okay? So um, in the top left of your screen, you'll see this is an exercise for an exercise for S sounds, P sounds, C sounds, and to some extent, B and D as well. Ready? Let's go. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock, awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block. Okay, I'll now do this at full speed. To sit in solemn silence in a dull dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock, awaiting the sensation of a short sharp shock from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block. Okay, and on to our T and D sounds. So T and D is used with the tongue going up to what is called the alveolar ridge in your mouth. So you should feel your tongue going up to get this sound correctly. Again, slowly and then at full speed. In tooting, two tutors astute tried to tute a duke on a flute. But duets so grueling and only in dueling when tutors astute toot the flute. That should say toot. Let's put another T there. Again, in tooting, two tutors astute try to toot a duke on a flute, but duets so grueling and only in dueling when tutors astute toot the flute. Weird. <laughs> Okay, and on to M, H, and I. She stood on the balcony. Okay, so try and get that L there, the L rising up to the roof of your mouth, inexplicably mimicking, so the M sound, mm, lips together, mm, mimicking him hiccuping, so a nice open mouthful, hi, hi, for the H sound, hiccuping, and amicably welcome, welcoming him home. It's quite hard to get the ing there. Welcoming him home. She stood on the balcony, inexplicably, a little, 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 got it wrong. Start again. She stood on the balcony, inexplicably mimicking him hiccuping and amicably welcoming him home. Okay, so really got to move your mouth to get that so those sounds correctly. I've put F, V, and TH together because you must make sure that there is a difference between your TH sounds and your F and your V. Um, this is something I learned after a long, lots of long, hard practice at drama school. 
um, but it, you know, your TH, your tongue has to go up to the top of your mouth and sort of tick, tick the teeth. Okay, the F and V sound is more made by you got your lip there and air coming out. Five flippant Frenchmen fly from France for fashions. Five flippant Frenchmen fly from France for fashions. A bit more of a buzz with the V. Vincent vowed vengeance very vehemently. Vincent vowed vengeance very vehemently. Vincent vowed vengeance very vehemently. The. This thin, that thatch, these themes, those thorns, the thug, they thank. This thin, that thatch, these themes, those thorns, the thug, they thank. Let's have some more. Okay, so on to D, K and L. And another note on this, as you're going along, try and really get a range in your pitch and intonation. So it's not just the sounds, but you're seeing how high can you go in your register? How low can you go? And you're playing around with these sounds. Actually, while we're on that note, uh, this is an exercise for exactly, for exactly that. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, we're trying to get a nice rise and you know, full and ebb in your pronunciation. If you're watching this having watched my video for Polish speakers, then this is exactly for you. Obviously not all, but some, okay? Let's go again. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Try and sound silly, okay? And so we're playing around with sound um, in these exercises. It's not something you should think about when you're actually talking to someone but you do the work with your, in your sort of speech practice, and then hopefully when you're actually speaking to people, um, it will, you'll come across as being more expressive. Right, Ds. Do drop in at the do drop in. Do drop in at the do drop in. Okay, and remember to get the at there, at. Let's go on to K. Kiss her quick, kiss her quicker, kiss her quickest. Okay, how fast can you say that? Kiss her quick, kiss her quicker, kiss her quickest. L. Larry sent the latter a letter later. L, l, l. Tongue's really got to move there in your mouth. Larry sent the latter a letter later. And on to j, j, j. So to make that sound, your tongue is vibrating at the top of your mouth. J, 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 j. Jean just jostled James gently. Jean just jostled James gently. On to Q and R. So this is just repeating quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. R. Reading and writing are richly rewarding, and so is watching Ingvid. Reading and writing are richly rewarding. This is from a play called The Pirates of Penzance. Yes, not of the Caribbean, of Penzance. On a map of Britain, it's down there, right in the corner, Penzance. It's like, it's near where Land's End is. It's the last stop on the train line, train line down to Cornwall, and it was written by Gilbert and Sullivan. This is not the whole text. There is a slightly elongated version of it, but this is what I could fit on the board. So we'll give it a go. Um, what we have here is it's like an amalgamation of all the different sounds that uh, you should be able to pronounce clearly. Okay, it doesn't really mean much. I am the very pattern of a modern major general. I've information vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I quote the fights historical. I understand equations both simple and quadratical. I'm very good at integral and differential calculus, 
I know the scientific names of beings animaculous. In short, in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral, I am the very model of a modern major general. Okay, let's go one more time. I am the very pattern of a modern major general. I've information vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I quote the fights historical. I understand equations both simple and quadratical. I'm very good at integral and differential calculus. I know the scientific names of beings and immaculous. In short, just a point and something I want to say here. When you're breathing, try not to go uh, 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 from here. So try to keep bringing it in so you're breathing from down here. In short, in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral, I am the very model of a modern major general. Okay, I want you to go off and have some fun with these. Maybe take some screenshots so you've got pictures of these on your phone. And then when, you're, um, when you've brushed your teeth in the morning, have a quick go at them. Right, yeah, Benjamin said learn these. Let's do them. See you next time. Quickly, 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 qu